actually done anything like this before, have you? Q and A the sound check. Luckily enough, because that was, <laughs> was such a funny sound check, they would have never come to the concert, right? <laughs> so this is, we, we were fairly civilized now. I can tell you that. <laughs> but I think it was definitely a new show here, as you said, after dark, isn't it? We like South Africa, yeah. Yeah. We don't get naked. <laughs> well, it depends. Well, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to pay the price? <laughs> Did we mention he's the single one? No, I think I'm enough. I'm the single one. He's the single one. He's the single one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take some questions. One question I want to ask you individually because unbelievable success, you know, hit albums all over the world, over 25 million so. The money has rolled in. What was the first big thing you bought with your first good paycheck? David? <laughs> the first thing that I bought was my parents' house, Aww. so that they could then turn that around and sell it and move into a place. <laughs> Carlos? I bought a suitcase and put all the beautiful ladies inside. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I paid all my debts, <laughs> that's for sure. I had a lot for you. I still have no, 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 no. And uh, no, I mean, I, I bought a, uh, this beautiful house uh, in Madrid, and uh, yeah, that's that's what I did. And many other things that I cannot tell you because well, it's too expensive. Okay. Okay. Sebastian, yes. What did you buy with that first great paycheck? Well, I had nothing to put my rubbish in, so I had bought myself a beautiful rubbish bin. <laughs> There's no way to talk about your house. Uh, yeah, but it was home last night. Oh, yeah. That's it was my home. <laughs> no. Um, Good night, what, everybody. <laughs> what did I buy? Um, honestly, I think I just paid family stuff, you know, it's just things that my mother couldn't afford, um, family. And yeah, I didn't. I don't think I paid any, I didn't buy anything, but nothing's so really changed there, there. No. What about yourself, Rose? I was just already rich, no. Rose, <laughs> <laughs> a Ferrari? No, a couple of Harleys. Yeah. So, I'm sure you've got loads of questions. We'll try and get through as many as you possibly can. If you put your hand up, I've got a couple of micro... You were first, so there's a couple of microphones that will go around as well. And there we are, we're going to hand that one to you with your first question. First, please don't be jealous when I dance with Sebastian tonight. <laughs> but um, why do pickers travel all over the world? We are from Norway and you don't come there. Can you please come to Oslo this September or October for my birthday? Just give me your phone number and then we'll go right now. <laughs> 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 Oslo, that's enough. We'd love to. We'd love to. But William, I know you love me. I don't know yet. Because you don't know. Management yeah, is here. Come on, management. Yeah, Are we going to Oslo? Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry? Ah, uh, okay, our, yes. Depends our our agent is here. here. It's Mr. Happened? Giddings. Mr. Where Giddings happened? is responsible. Anyway? So if there's anything you have to blame anyone for, where we're not going, he's there. So he's got a little gray hair. He's going to have more in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Okay, we've got another question. He doesn't look wealthy, he's very wealthy, he's lovely man. We love him, John. October. Yes. I told you. Hello! Hello! This lady has a silent comb. Let's turn around and show them. There are many in comparison to the rest. Can you staff a dress? You interact much more with the audience, small venues. My question is precisely is Will you interact more with your audience, just mingle with them, do a thing with some of them? That's it. That was the longest question in the world. And the answer is... Is that a question? Oh. <laughs> well, I think, I think obviously it, uh, the, the level of interaction that we have with our audience depends uh, a lot on the audience. It depends on our proximity to the audience. We, we, you know, when we go to arenas and the audience is that far away, it's you know pretty impossible as opposed to when we're here in the Royal Albert Hall and they come you know right here and we can reach out and, and touch people. Um, it's a completely different thing. So every every venue is its own separate case. I think in terms of our interaction with each other and trying to be more natural and trying to be more individual, I think this has just been the evolution of of Il Divo. You know, it's it's been 
eight years of us trying to bring our own careers and our own personality into the center so that it feels like one solid group, that we're, we're Il Divo, we're a group. And we've established that, and so now we can kind of relax more and be ourselves. And, and I think we're having a whole lot who's of fun. Cha who's changed the most amongst you, would you say? I have to the same curl than the 1850s, so <laughs> when I was born, I don't know, it's changed a lot. I think you'll do. The four of us really, to be honest with you, as David just said, I think you've changed Come on, something. you're not meant to say that, come on. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a three times father, of course that's changed. Yeah, but that's the wrinkles we made three well, times. That's it. <laughs> We're going to let the men speak as well, gentlemen down here. So what's your question? Good evening, you're a fantastic man. Thank you so much for these concerts. You've got such a punishing schedule ahead of you, past and ahead of you. How do you look after yourselves? How do you stay fit, especially your voices? <laughs> well, it's, a, it's actually fairly simple. You need to try to sleep enough. You need to eat well and you need to hydrate. I know it sounds boring, but that's, that's just what it is. You need to try to live a healthy life. And it's sometimes very difficult when you have uh, big uh, time differences from one show to the other, when you have days like today, when you have to do all of this stuff, and you have, to, have the great, to sing the greatest show in the evening, you know, it's just, but you get on with it and it's a lot of fun, it's very exciting, you know, when we do things like that, the adrenaline kicks in, that always helps, and for the rest, you just got to be professional about it, you got to take Il Divo serious, we do. Okay, another lady down in the front here. Thanks. Hello. Um, Hello. Now that you've been together for um, sort of eight strong nine years, would you ever consider to do something like you know an evening with El Divo, where there's um, like a charitable donation towards whatever you support? Thank you. <laughs> well. Yes, we always try to support any charities. Actually, you know, I was talking about that a few days ago. We were in. Um, Welsh and Cardiff and then this, this story that I saw a couple of days ago about Luca, you know, and it really riches me and then I talk to the guys and we're great to do something and we all opt for things but it's just trying to find the right time sometimes, that's difficult but after, you know, later later after this we raise some money for MTM, I'm going to spend 15 minutes with a winner and, and that money helps kids so I, we always feel, you know, all of us really touched by it. all the stories we were in Japan when there was a tsunami. We, we try to always help our best, but um, it's schedule, finding the time. I uh, wish I had more time. Okay, another question there? Yes. We'll come uh, over there next. Can I ask you who, whose idea is that? Say it in local, good, like Japanese song, the local language. Well, Furusato was a... Um, yeah, but a, idea? Uh, it was an idea that was presented to us um, by the Japanese as we were coming in from, from the promoters and the record company and, and the people that we work with. Um, that obviously our music has, uh, and, and we've been told by the Japanese, that our music helped during the tsunami, during the rebuilding, and, and during everything that's still going on, to raise people's spirits. And so the idea of us putting together a, a very small token uh, of taking a traditional Japanese song and just kind of very, very quickly arranging it with a piano, obviously it's, if, if we had more time, we would do the full Il Divo arrangement of it, but as it was, you know, three days before we arrived, just kind of trying to put something together, just as a small gift, as a token uh, to them for having adopted our music and for having endured such hardship. Before you look you great. Go, you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Before you guys go on stage, do you get together and do a little song together? Do you sing a particular song each night, anything at all like that? No, we've just done that. No, it doesn't stand here. No, honestly, we do a sound check at any coffee show. Normally, we do. The, the opening uh, song of the show. I quite like doing that because then you're really into it. Then you go have dinner and then you meet the fans, it's lovely, and then you go on. Oh, oh, Life is good. good. Lady in the second row there. Good evening. Um, French is supposed to be the language of love, so would you consider singing in French again? I mean, when you sing Pour que tu m'aimes encore, it's always a great success. Oh. 
Don't tell me that, I've been trying so hard. <laughs> Every year, I push for one song in French. It's always the same, I'm going to tell you. It's Johnny Hallyday, Que Je T'aime. I've never got in on the album, so I keep pushing and pushing. We always try to bring French with it, our songs, but um, I think it depends on the repertoire. You know, on Wicked Game, it's not so easy to find uh, a song that would have fit the album. But uh, yeah, Pour Que Tu M'Encoies, Pour Que Tu M'Encoies is such a wonderful song. Yeah. So, um, I'm working hard. <laughs> okay, we're going to go from the back. There we are. Lady yeah. down there. I've been enjoying listening to your music for some time. And I wonder, would it be at all possible for you to sign a book for me tonight? The good news is you're all getting books in the wall. So that's easy. The are already done. There we are. How about that? Nice and easy. Let's go along. Oh, that lady again. You've already got lovely sign. Hi, I'm sorry. But the Young Devo Sphere has been alive for the last, since last night, not only because it was a fabulous concert, and I promised a lot of people I will ask you this. Sorry if this is a personal question to us, but we thought at first we were going to get some kind of joke with the gloves, and then I spent the second half worrying that we've got poorly hands. So could you please put us out of our misery and tell us what those wonderful gloves are for? Thank you. That is styling. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a look. And it's a show we present to you. But explain why you haven't had them up to this point. Oh, I can explain that. Because they should have been there from the very first show. But it was winter. They are supposed to match the colour of the shoes I'm wearing. Not these we, couldn't shoes. Find that color. we couldn't find that colour. Uh, so we had a um, tailor made by Dolce and Cabana for my hands, and they got the colour wrong in the first place, so we had to get them made again. And now they're still a bit big, but we're getting closer. Okay, got a question a little bit further back over there. Um, hi, your music is amazing and makes hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Um, it, there's a lot of emotion in your singing, and I just wondered, it brings me sort of close to tears, I just wondered if the sort of same emotion was there for you guys as well when you sing. They are. I'm going to say, it depends on song, of course. It depends um, how you feel and, and how you can interact with that with the audience, obviously. But, uh, but there, are, there are many songs that, that they, well, you get really touched, and then suddenly, I mean, we had, I mean, for example, when we went to Japan, um, there was the uh, one year anniversary of the tsunami, and it was so, I mean, so tough to sing because obviously we sang the full start of the Japanese song, and then suddenly everyone was crying in the audience, and we were really, really touched. So, so we had many, many of those nights, and of course, yesterday was a was a fantastic night. We had to be here in London, the Royal Hall, it was amazing. So, and we were really touched, and hopefully, I'm gonna get touched even more too. <laughs> Any volunteers to touch? Okay. in the second row, <laughs> apart from all the cheating and such, Connors wants to ask this question. Hello gentlemen, uh, my question for you is, is there any chance we might be indulged in the full Latin melody tonight? To your what? The full Latin melody. Ah, the melody. Oh, the melody. Oh, we had to let him out. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually. The, the thing is, we've tried it. Uh, that's the greatest thing about the tour. You can try things. And we didn't feel it really worked, to be honest. All of us, we didn't feel comfortable with it. And so we said bye bye to the Middle East. And, and the reaction was also, I think a lot of people got confused because we had, we had fused these songs into one continuous 10 minute thing. These are all obviously songs that everyone's familiar with, and as one song would flow into the next, people didn't know when to clap, people, people didn't know how to get into it, and, and it's, uh, we just felt it was more enjoyable to just do Vita Cinemore, <laughs> get everybody up and dancing. We love it in Australia. Well, thank you very much. We love it in Australia. This lady down here, a good question. I have a question for Sebastian. To me, you're already perfect, but if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Oh my God, if you know me, you'd be probably really disappointed. <laughs> I am not perfect. Um, if I could change one thing about myself. Oh. 
<laughs> God, my wife is not in the audience because she'll give you a list and will never end. Um, wow. Maybe it's how long you take to answer a question. <laughs> That's how long it's See, been. not everything's so short, David, in life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me just think for one second. Why don't I go oh, yeah, through no, my no, 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 no. To have a better memory. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? I, well, you've noticed I forget sometimes words. But I don't forget because I've actually, I lose memory. I just get carried by the music. Or, I don't know, I'm getting into that emotion thing we were just talking about, which I find you guys are so, such an inspiration to our music, you know, you give us that strength, that goosebumps, this is the best thing, I always say that every night and I, I really mean it, it's the best thing we've ever done, all, all, all four of us, you give us such an amazing pleasure, you get really sensitive about it, I, I mean I always say that every time, I'm the most sensitive probably, and over sensitive, so if I can be less sensitive and more memory, that'd be great. Good Have for Christmas. <laughs> Lady in the second row there. Hi guys. Uh, we know you have a great sense of humour. We see that every night. <laughs> we do. And we love it. We love it. The more the better. Um, this is just a fun question. Um, if Taking your lovely wives and girlfriends out of the equation, if someone offered you £5 million to spend the night with them... <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, <laughs> would, would you do it? And would it matter if they were good looking? In that case, Sorry. you could have started at 50 quid. <laughs> Maybe. I would do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask. I will. Are you busy tonight? <laughs> I will tell you. There's so many variables in this. Oh, it's true. I mean, you know, I, I, I can't take Sarah Joy out of the equation. That's the thing. No, no, no. If I was single. Yes. Um, no, don't take if I was single, well, but I'm, well, but you're not. Hypotheticals are not my forte. <laughs> are we um, talking about a woman, anyway? <laughs> <talking about, laughs> <are we> <laughs> <laughs> Because money and romance don't necessarily equate. So what are we talking about? Quite right, quite right. Good answer. We've got time for just one more question. That lady down there said that. So I won't write the check out then. <laughs> you can make it just up put to the on Enterprises and Carlos will be receiving it in four days. I got five million. <laughs> you can always just swipe your credit card. Hey, don't forget that we split four ways, huh? <laughs> lady down there, final question. Dutch, that's why I'm asking the question. Now, you've been to Netherlands a couple of times, and I was wondering because some people do they speak typical Dutch? Stroke off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, uh, well, about the audience? Yeah, or something about the country. You've lived in the Netherlands. Oh, well, I've lived in Amsterdam for eight years, so yeah, I know a lot of things that are typical Dutch. And I love Holland, I love the people. The funniest thing I always find. David goes to Amsterdam and says, everybody's so stressed there. Huh? And I always think, everybody's so relaxed there. <laughs> so that, that is the funniest thing I know about Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no, my first experience when I, when I went to Holland the first time, just checking into the hotel, and, and it really comes out of a sense of wanting to provide high level of service, which I understand now that I've been around the world. Uh, this was before I had even joined with Devo as well, I was singing opera. And I had, I had gone there, and just checking into the hotel, I was like, yes, can we help you? Yes, I'll take your bags, thank you very much. And I'm like, no, 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 no. All right, it's okay, it's, let's all just calm down here. I can take my own bags, just tell me where the room is. And, you know, that's, maybe that's a Colorado thing, I don't know. 
But, uh, you know, I have since come to learn that it's just a high level of service, and I was not really uh, acquainted with that at that time. Thank you, Van. Thank you, Boy. Just to prove that I can speak Dutch as well. That was all I ever know. Okay, then. Wonderful performance already from the boys. They're going to come down and do the photograph. Can we also just thank this magnificent orchestra bit? <laughs> Thank you once again to the boys here, Il Divo! So, we'll do the photographs, as we said, I know you want to spend a